Princess Diana, 21 years on, how will Meghan Markle and Prince Harry mark mother's death? Princess Diana's life will be celebrated and remembered this Friday as the royal family prepare to mark the 21st anniversary of her death. After the outpour of tributes for last year's landmark anniversary, how will the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Duke of Duchess of Cambridge mark it? Prince Harry, Meghan, Prince William and Kate will not be carrying out an official engagement for the anniversary, according to Kensington Palace. It is unclear what the royal family are planning to do to remember the people's princess, but previous years have seen William and Harry mark the day privately at home. A Kensington Palace spokeswoman told Express Co. UK, There is no official engagement planned and we don't have a comment on what the family would be doing. The next future engagement of any member of the royal family is not until September 1st, the day after the anniversary of Princess Diana's death. Last year, the 20th anniversary was marked publicly as the princes took a moment to read the emotional tributes to their mother after visiting a memorial garden with Kate as Kensington Palace. Well-wishers gathered to pay their respects just as millions did just after August 31, 1997. Prince Harry and Prince William spoke with crowds and read inspiring messages left on cards and banners. This year it appears the anniversary will be marked privately. But that does not mean the memory of Princess Diana has been forgotten. In a year of historic royal events with the birth of Prince Louis and the royal wedding, Princess Diana's legacy was always there. Prince Louis was born on April 23rd in the Lindo wing of St. Mary's Hospital, the same wing Princess Diana gave birth to Prince Harry and William. The Duchess of Cambridge channeled Princess Diana as she left the hospital with the royal baby. Kate wore a long red dress as she and Prince William showed the British public their third child outside Linda Wing. She evoked memories of Princess Diana who also wore red as she posed with Prince Charles and a newborn Prince Harry outside the same wing in 1984. On the day of the royal wedding, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made many heartfelt nods to Prince Harry's late mother. Meghan's bouquet included Diana's favorite forget-me-not flowers. In another nod to her late mother-in-law, Meghan wore one of the Princess of Wales emerald cut cocktail ring as she headed to her wedding reception. During the wedding itself, Meghan and Harry involved all three of Diana's siblings in their big day. Lady Jane Fellows gave a reading during the wedding. Kensington Palace said in a statement at the time, in addition to having the support of the Queen, his father the Prince of Wales, and his brother Prince William as best man, Prince Harry is also keen to involve his mother's family in his wedding. Prince Harry and Ms. Markle both feel honored that Lady Jane will be representing her family and helping to celebrate the memory of the late princess on the wedding day. And in a touching nod, the hymn played at Diana's funeral was also played at the royal wedding. During the emotional moment, Meghan held Prince Harry's hand throughout the song.